this evening in the uh, Wall Street Journal. It says that Israel has warned the U.S. that a, a Russia deal is imminent. Basically, Russia is going to sell reportedly uh, advanced S-300 ground-to-air defense missile batteries. Persuasion for Vladimir Putin as the United States and the United Kingdom work towards getting the Russian president to negotiate over Syria. A longtime Syrian ally, Moscow announced last week it was still set to deliver weapons to Syria under existing contracts, something that has Israel concerned. With anyone who provides uh, weaponry, most advanced one, to terror organizations is simply siding itself in with terror but is going to promote an increased instability here in the Middle East. Specifically, Israel's worried about the possibility Russia could send Syria its S-300 missile platform. A powerful anti-aircraft system with a range of up to 200 kilometers, it would massively boost Syria's ability to take down anything that enters its airspace. Given Israel's recent airstrikes on weapons convoys there they say were bound for Hezbollah, it would put their planes at vastly increased risk. Only a quick cessation of the military conflict can prevent a negative scenario. At this sensitive moment, it's particularly important to avoid any action that could destabilize the situation. Peace is made only by the strong ones, only by those who are able to defend themselves. And our aim is to defend our people, as we always do. Now the talks came amid concerns that Moscow would soon provide Damascus with advanced missiles. so what happens next? There are reports that Israel itself has reached out to some of the rebel groups. Now, if we there are did, reports you're even arming some of them. If we did, uh, did and, you? I'm, and I'm not confirming that we did, and I'm, and I'm not getting into that It would make sense to denial. be in touch? Well, if we did, I, you know, it wouldn't make sense to talk about it, even on the BBC. You know? and, uh, and I'm not confirming that we're doing that. But we're very careful. I said that the arming of rebels presents the question of which rebels and which arms, and that's a very complicated question for every country, including my country, Israel. Is Israel planning a more aggressive military operation in Syria? We're not aggressive. We don't seek uh, military confrontation, but we are prepared to defend ourselves if uh, the need arises. And I think people know that what I say is uh, both measured and serious. Obviously, there are options that are available to me that are on the shelf right now that we have not deployed. Uh, and you know, that's a spectrum of options. Uh, you know, as as early as last year, I asked uh, the Pentagon, our military, our intelligence uh, uh, officials to prepare for me what options might be available. Uh, and I won't go into the details of what those options might be. Yeah, I do uh, military but, options to our senior civilian leaders. And um, with uh, the, the, the outcome identified, I can produce a military option to achieve. His nation's military is prepared to strike Russian weapon shipments to the Syrian government. That warning comes after a top Russian official said his nation reserves the right to provide Syria with advanced air defense missile systems, similar to this one. 
Israeli officials have repeatedly voiced concerns that Syrian weapons could end up in the hands of their enemies, including the militant group Hezbollah. All this as the United States and Russia try to bring the Assad regime and opposition leaders to Switzerland for talks. And one day after the European Union agreed to lift its arms embargo on the rebels.